Good morning everyone. Today is the 2nd of February 2023. It's Thursday morning. I hope you're having a good week so far. Hope you all are doing well. If I were to title this video, I would title it History Deniers. God has ordained all things that come to pass. Have you ever thought about that? The good, the bad, and the evil. He's ordained all things that come to pass. I heard a guy yesterday make the statement, I'm not really into the reformers. I don't know what he means by that. The fact is the reformers were ordained by God. <clears throat> there was a long history of the Dark Ages where Roman Catholicism had taken over and it was persecuting God's people called the Great Inquisition and God raised up some, some God raised up some people to, to, to push back against it didn't he including people like Martin Luther John Calvin Tyndale Knox Zwingli they were far from perfect but God used them in a mighty way <clears throat> to bring light to a dark world and just to say I'm not into the reformers is a denial of that God used these people in history did it just like he used the Roman Catholic Church to establish his purposes as well he uses both the good the bad and the evil you know Martin Luther nailed his 95 Theses on the Wittenberg door that was primarily coming against indulgences but it was the start of shining the light of the atrocities of the Roman Catholic Church the Roman Catholic Church wanted Martin Luther dead you can believe that but they didn't accomplish their purpose at that time did they now they did kill a lot of people including Huss burn at the stake but you know uh, that's why it's so important to have the Bible as our foundation because the Bible is his story as well there's nothing that happens in history without the sovereign will of God God's will cannot be thwarted God's will cannot be um, you know he works all things after the counsel of his own will people want to talk about free will but the problem is is that there is no free will free will does not exist now we have liberty in Christ if we're born again Ephesians 1 says that for, for God's people that we've been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus <clears throat> but it's not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but God that showeth mercy I'm glad that God brought the reformers on the scene you know I'm glad that the light of the Reformation shined I'm glad that the Bible was translated into the common English language so people could read it and push back against these devils okay and today we have a whole new set of devils <laughs> you know we have 
people that are into liberation theology and social theology and works theology and Arminian theology and Pelagian theology. But Christ theology is one of his sovereignty over all things. He's accomplished everything. Man can do nothing apart from God. <clears throat> A lot of people are into what's denying right now in history. They say everything happened in 70 AD. Well, my question to you all is, if everything happened in 70 AD, what's happened the last 2,000 years? Has God been absent? <laughs> I don't think so. Scripture says, in Him we live and move and have our very being. It says, all things were created by Him and for Him. That includes everything that has existed since 70 AD. You know? And so, there are a lot of history deniers out there. There are a lot of people that have denied the Bible. Large, large chunks of the Bible. <clears throat> They want to promote a message that man's in control of his own destiny. And God's the only one that's in control of a man's destiny because God's the one that created them. God created the whole world in six, literal six days, 144 hours, this earth was created. A lot of people are into denial of creation, literal six-day creation. They bought into the lies of Satan and Darwin and evolution, and carbon dating and everything that goes along with it. <clears throat> They're true history deniers. They're creation deniers. They're creator deniers. If you deny creation, you deny redemption because you, you can't have redemption without a creator. The atonement of Jesus Christ is being attacked at many levels. One of the biggest attackers of the atonement of Jesus Christ is the Roman Catholic Church. and they attack it in the mass, re-crucifying Christ all over again in the mass. <clears throat> you know, mass used to be illegal to do in this country before the carols came on the scene. And then you had the carols, founder of Georgetown University was a carol three Jesuits, the Carols. A lot of denials, deniers of history out there. Well, today it's open season for all kind of, there's now a, a, a group of devil worshipers that are going to meet in this country in the spring large masses of devil worshipers who openly admit they're Satan worshipers. You know. Well, the origins of the United States, you know, a lot of people came to this country to find freedom of worship and they found uh, the Roman Catholic Church instead, didn't they? Right on their nipping at their heels and look at the church today well that's pretty much what's on my mind this morning are you a history denier 
Are you a six day literal creation denier? <clears throat> Are you a reformation denier? You know, we have a large body of history behind us. Let us never forget it. May the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.